Hey, what's happening guys? JT here. I am playing something a little bit different for you guys today. I don't know if you guys have heard of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I know you've heard of the movie. I don't know if you've heard of the... I'm hoping you heard of the book, because the books are kind of amazing, but also they have a video game that just got re-released on the PlayStation Network, Nintendo Switch. I think they're on Xbox... whatever that is, Xbox Live. So, if you are interested in Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, it's an amazing series, and I'm going to play this a little bit as a little bit of a break in between Final Fantasy VII Integrate before I get into the second chapter of a Yuffie side quest because God Pilgrim vs. The World has my heart because it's kind of amazing. Both so from a video game standpoint, this game is really good because it's basically like a combination of beat-em-up RPGs plus... It's really it's like a combination of beat-em-up and RPGs, so it's like my two favorite types of games. So I'm all over this, so this thing is so cool. So, and I kind of suck at this game, so I haven't been able to beat Costum Loma's film set yet, so I'm going to play through um, the first Evil X level for you guys today, just to showcase the game. If you guys are interested in getting this, please pick it up on the PlayStation Network, and if you pick it up, please let me know so I can play with you. <laughs> I feel like I, I would play this game with you guys in a heartbeat. Like you can, I, you can take my PlayStation Network name, it's totally fine. So... But basically, I think the general gist of this is that it's very similar to um, Street Fighter type of fighting. So you have like a weak punch and you have a strong punch essentially, uh, which is what I can do with Ramona. And Ramona has also like a special skill set which you can use and I'll use when I get... I'll use it when I get into a tighter window and the people are a little bit more dangerous. Right now, I'm, look, I'm looking okay. So, really my big recommendation for you guys if you're playing through this for the first time is just don't get sandwiched by enemies. Like, don't let them surround you. If you get surrounded, you can take a lot of damage very quickly. So, that's my only recommendation for you guys. So, just keep them in one direction of you. And if you can hit them like this and kill them, just do it. <laughs> it saves you a lot of grief, so. And also pick up all these coins because you can use that to power up your characters, which is amazing. I've got a lot of money on me right now. This is what I'm talking about. You, you don't want to get sandwiched, so. Use them. Use this guy. Throw him. The moment you get sandwiched, that's what kind of happens when you get a lot of damage in. Like, these... I haven't mastered really the art of playing Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, so I do take a lot of damage once they actually manage to hit me. So I'm trying to decide whether I think... I think Guts is, or Defense is what would allow you to recover more quickly. I kind of think I should build my characters, make them a little bit more defensive, that way I can fight back when they actually hit me. I like how I'm using the ball and then just hitting them instead of throwing the ball at him. Ooh, that was good. He was gonna punch me off the cliff. So you can play that game. Speaking of throwing the ball, batter up. And I'm gonna take out the trash. Can I drop him down into the hole? Let me see. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. Almost 150 Canadian dollars, which is probably not worth that much, but you know. And Lucas Lee is on the bus, so... Or at least he's, he's on the billboard for the bus. And these guys remind me of the Streets of Rage, like the, um, the fat guys that you fight and that, so... Also, one of the things to look out for is that weapons on the ground can be punched by the enemies to hit you. So, you don't want to be surrounded by a bunch of, like, random items on the ground when they kind of sandwich you, because then you're probably going to take a lot of damage that way also, so... Yeah, but this RPG element is so much fun because you, when you were seeing me pick my character a while ago, I had Ramona at level 7. I actually have, I think Scott is at level 6, I think Ramona's at level 7 right now. And then I think uh, Knives is the character that I usually play a lot, and she's level 8. I guess not a whole lot more than the other characters, but I really like Knives too. Knives is just kind of cool, so. But basically, I played as Ramona for the first time like a couple nights ago, and I didn't realize that she had the hammer in this game. It, it makes sense. So, I, the moment I saw the hammer, I was like, I have to level up Ramona a little bit, so. And I also just watched Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I was, like, trying to figure out what to do. I was debating, kind of working on... Ooh, what's this new move? Let's find out what this new move is. Let me get out of this sandwich. Here, I'm going to show off the special move for you guys here. That's my special move. 
And you know, that's a pretty devastating move, because you know that she's got the hammer in that purse, and it's like the Legend of Zelda type of bag, like everything fits in it, so. Yeah, hit this guy with a bucket. Is he still not dead yet? There we go. Now what should I take? I think I should take the bat. Get better range. I don't want to hit the basketball. It's probably going to recoil on me. Uh, no, come on. I, I hit first. But I think this is probably the most effective way to take out enemies, like, you just get them into a corner, make sure you pick up all the coins, that way you can level up your character, get more cool items. Not too bad. Okay. Approaching 160 Canadian dollars. Oh no. Damn, that, that was a lot. 20 damage. I'm gonna punch that hat off of him. <laughs> get off. Get out of here. Mm. Oh, come on. There we go. Should I take the tire? I think I'm gonna take the parasol. Oh no. Someone's gonna use that bat against me, I know it. Oh, dogs. Who let the dogs out? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, no actual dogs were harmed in the making of this video. Only um, animated dogs. <laughs> oh shoot. No. Uh. Ooh, that was slick. And don't mind me using your buddy as a... <laughs> as an object. Trash can? People? Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Sandwich again. Use the trash. Don't use trash against me. There we go. Ooh, that hurt. That was a bad recoil. I'm getting some bad luck here. Ooh. Stay away from that guy. Get away from me. Hmm. Uh, okay. Have a drink, sir. Nice, okay. And I think the subspace highway is where that star is, so that's a good place to pick up a bunch of coins. So I'm gonna try to do that, and I really need to get some HP up in here, so. What are we doing? What are we doing? <sighs> Ooh, nice. That was a good coin drop. Oh, so much money! No! <sighs> I missed out on, on coins. That was so sad. I love money in this game. No! I'm running too fast. Come back, pigs. Oh, wait, it's, a, it's fine. It's all good. Okay. Yeah, but I think she goes, like, really fast when you beat a bunch of enemies without taking damage for a while. So. Oh, no. Get out of here. I'm just going to use that item <laughs> to hit them from a distance. Get out. Mm. Okay, I'm at 7 HP and I really need something. Uh, no account video. Mm. I know there's a food place like right around the corner, I think. I need to not die here. I'm gonna save my 1-up. Get out of the way. Okay, that looks good. Justin's is closed. Ooh, there's a deli. Okay, I'm going to that deli. <laughs> okay, I need something. So these are things that you can take to go. I, I don't know what they all do, because I haven't actually looked it up yet. I imagine the ice latte is probably pretty good for you, so I'm going to take that to go. So you can use that to recover your HP if you drop below it, so now I'm not going to lose a life if I die. Oh no. And I'm gonna drink my latte then. <laughs> no. 
perfect. I might go on and buy another latte. Mm. Yeah, I, I need it to kind of hold me over. Like, I, I hate using... Going through life on this. There you go. Get, get another latte going. Maybe I should get hot chocolate this time? Just to figure out what it does. Let's see. Heart points 40. That's not bad. And that's also Scott Pilgrim's sister Stacy. And then this is the text max place, so you can go in here and you can actually buy food that will recover your HP that you currently have. Um, that's super expensive, but I think quesadillas are okay. I'm gonna do the quesadilla, I'm pretty sure that recovers you fully. Actually, I haven't done the burrito grande yet. Oh, that was really good. That's totally worth it. Maybe not for $11, but you know. I've got points again, I've got life, and I've got a hot chocolate in my back pocket or in my purse, so I think we're good to go. Need to get rid of this guy. There we go. Get more coins for that. There's a mini mart, which I imagine probably has some stuff in here too. What do we got here? I don't think I need any of those things. I think they kind of recover a little bit of life, so. You can get some more food in here, in the sushi bar, and you can get Rainbow Maki. I think Salmon Nigiri is actually really good too, but I'm actually trying to save up the money for another store a little bit further down, so. Hopefully I didn't spend too much money a while ago, because I dropped from, like, basically 200 down to 170, but I think I can still buy the item that I was looking at at 170, so. Ooh. Who hides in trash cans? this. Get out of here. Yeah, but if you guys ever want to play this game, please let me know what your PlayStation Network name is, or when I get this on the Switch, because I ordered, um, ooh, my special move, here we go. Yeah, okay. But I would love to play with you guys, like, if you guys want to play this game with me, like, just let me know. <laughs> I also want all these coins that are on the ground. I love how the Canadian coin has a moose on it. Let's see. And Crash and the Boys, Koopak, Clash of Demon Head. Why is the Clash of Demon Head the cheap side in here? And then you, if you go to Flatiron Books, you can use this to get basically like better speed. And Lost to Sea is the name of his first novel that he ever wrote, his first comic. So, 101 push-ups gives you strength. I don't know if that's better than the Vegan Cookbook because I think the Vegan Cookbook gives you defense. So. Here we go. Let me try to get this guy through. Yeah, but this is so much fun, and this is on the PlayStation 4, by the way, so, like, don't feel like you have to get a PlayStation 5 in order to play this game. Like, this is available for lower consoles, so... Actually, I'm pretty sure this game was designed for the PlayStation 3, so... Like, you have lots of opportunities to play this game. Don't feel like, um, whatever console you have at home is probably capable of playing this game, so... But really, I just wanted to showcase it. Uh-oh, I'm gonna get run over by a bus. Oh, I got really lucky he ran right in front of my purse. No! Get out of here. Ow! Mm. Get some of my Canadian coins going. Oh, there's a 1-up sign! I'm gonna dash at this guy. Here we go. Get out of town. And then I think Wallace has a secret store right here. And yeah, I can buy everything here. I can get Speedy the Porcupine, Never Ending Fantasy. Bionic Arm is all about attack, so I feel like that might actually be the good one to do here. Matthew 7 zones at high speed, that might be really good. I'm gonna do Bionic Arm. Strength plus 50, ooh dang, that's crazy. Okay, let's see how much stronger I am now. I don't think I can buy anything else. I think I'm at 45, so it's just underneath everything that I need. I might do a ton of damage now. Let's find out. I'm gonna hop up here first. I think they, the cars drive down at the bottom. Oh, 20 damage on the hit? Holy. Yeah, I'm about to wreck here. <laughs> Did they jump down to avoid me? 
get my Canadian dollars back. Oh, I'm doing so much damage now. This is amazing. I love this. This is so cool. I am on fire. Ah, here we go. Jumping up here. Yeah, but if you guys don't know who the soundtrack is for this, it's Anamonikuchi, by the way. So you should really get this soundtrack if you have an opportunity. Wow, I feel like a superhero now after that bionic arm upgrade. This is crazy. Like, I don't think I've ever seen... I've never been able to hit someone with that much damage before. Dude, they, they fly when you hit them. And I got a trophy, and I don't even know what armed and dangerous means. Maybe I hit them so hard, I like, they burst into coins. Look at that 20 damage! That's crazy. I feel so OP right now. I think I can actually take on the next level. And I think I'm gonna take the shovel here. Is that everyone? Okay. Subspace Highway, I choose you. I need to get more... Pigs? Yes! Oh, I missed so badly, that was so terrible. It's okay. These are pretty good coins on the ground right now. Get the orange ones, because they're worth the most. I think those are dimes. Okay, cool. And I love all the Mario and Zelda references and the way that everything kind of built out. I'm gonna hit this before I run out of my super speed. Here we go. See if I can maximize the amount of coins I'm getting. I want as many moose coins as I can get. Get the moose coins, get more moose coins. Yeah, I'm back up to 70. Okay. That's gonna put me way over 70 at this point. Oh, this is so beautiful. More power-ups for the win. I need more pigs though. More flying pigs, here we go. <laughs> this spoiler alert, the rocket is a dump. I think I might be able to beat this guy handedly. And boss battle number one is Matthew Patel. The first evil X. So I actually like using the chair if you get if there's like any strategy, you wanna stay away from his um from his fireball attack. And then, I don't know what the point of the demon girls are, because they, they damage you if you get too close to Matt, but really if they keep a chair, like you're at a safe enough distance where when you, and you're fast enough where if he tries to do a fireball attack on you, he actually can't hit you. Oh, that was so fast, that was so good. I don't think I took damage on that. And I got enough fare for the bus. Ooh, ooh, raise the roof. Oh, that was so exciting. I'm so glad that I got that power up. That's crazy. That was so good. Wow, I feel like a superhero. That was pretty amazing. I'm really excited, so. And she totally went into her purse a while ago. I don't I don't know how I feel. This, is, this game is so cool. But yeah, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So this is Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like if you want to join me on this adventure um buy this in the store and let me know and i sleep really weird hours right now because i'm still working night shift but i will try to find a way to play with you guys if you guys want to actually play because beat em up games are they have my heart <laughs> and i mean just look at this map so they have the warp pipes from mario brothers they have the map laid out like super mario brothers 3 they have the signs up as if you were going around in super mario brothers and then they have, and really the overall map reminds me a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original game on the Nintendo system. So everything about this game is just video game homages and just things that I really enjoy. So when we pick up next time, I might not be playing as Ramona Flowers. I might play as Ramona Flowers because she has the strength to probably take on level two at this point. But when we continue next time, we're gonna continue to check around Toronto and fight more of Ramona's evil exes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you on the next video. Alright.